Conor McGregor's support from the fans dropped off significantly in 2018 and 2019. Why did this happen? And can he win back their support? Welcome everybody, I'm Matt. If you're new to the channel, we study inspiring people and produce motivational content. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. This is the third part in a three part series of videos about the notorious Conor McGregor. If you missed either of the first two videos, a reaction to his public speaking skills and the keys behind his rapid rise to stardom, make sure you check those out. They'll be popping up on the screen and in the description below. And this week, I am very excited. We're going to be talking about Conor's fall and his redemption. At the end of 2016, Conor McGregor had just won his second world title in the UFC and became the first person to simultaneously hold two belts in two different weight classes. His stock was never higher. He was at the peak of his powers. In August 2017, he stepped into the world of professional boxing for the first time to fight arguably the best boxer of all time, Floyd Mayweather, who was undefeated with a record of 49 wins and no losses. Conor lost the fight via TKO in the 10th round, but was widely praised for his performance. For that 30 minutes in the ring, Conor is reported to have earned about $100 million. He had secured the financial future of himself and his family for generations. At 28 years old, he had achieved everything he wanted in life. But he also now had a target on his back. It was around this time that the cracks started to emerge. The first thing that started to make fans distance themselves was Connor's behavior in press conferences. In his early press conferences, he was so authentic, charismatic, effortlessly funny. He had the media eating out of his hand. But for someone who had spent his whole life continuously taking things to the next level, it started to seem like he was living up to an expectation to be increasingly more sensational and to one-up his performances each time he was on stage. This led to more and more dramatic behavior, often over the top. One of his greatest qualities was his authenticity. But for the first time, things started to seem a little forced. The cocky confidence that was so endearing before became more and more exaggerated and delivered without the cheeky smile and the chin tilted up just an extra half an inch, it started coming across more as arrogance than confidence. Connor, you're here, everybody's excited, just curious, where were you? Why, why the lateness? I operate on my time. I operate on my own time and I'm running early on my time. What does this fight mean for your legacy? This just puts it in, this just puts it even more in stone. That second belt, never been done. No one's even came close. No one's even attempted it. So that's it, my legacy. I'll be immortalized after this one. Moving on to the second reason for fans distancing themselves from Connor. We talked in the last video about Connor's rise that one of his key strengths was his ability to separate the promotion of the fight from the fight itself. This meant that he could get in his opponent's heads and break them down mentally weeks or even months before the fight. While they spent time angry, thinking about him, burning up their mental energy, he was able to wind them up and then just completely switch off and detach from it, becoming ice cold, fully focusing on himself and the fight. However, as time went on, there were signs that the things being said were getting to him. He seemed to get emotional quickly, was more on edge, with anger always bubbling beneath the surface. That's all right. Hey, 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 the Connor. Connor, don't throw those fucking hands. Yeah, Connor. Connor. That's a wrap. Get him out of here. In the past, there was always a clear distinction between Conor McGregor, their promoter, and Conor McGregor the fighter. It was like two separate people. But Conor their promoter started to become more and more exaggerated. 
He evolved from cocky to egotistical, from going with the flow to snapping if something didn't go his own way. If you play a character for long enough, the lines between the character and reality can become blurred. Connor the promoter seemed to be making appearances more and more frequently. This leads us to the third reason why people started to lose confidence in Connor. He had a string of negative press outside the cage. In particular, the video surfacing with him striking an older man at a pub was indefensible and was the final straw for some of even the biggest Conor McGregor fans. When you think you know someone's character and they do something completely contradictory with who you thought they were, it's hard to take. Conor never asked to be idolized or put on a pedestal, but he was. For years, he did and said the right things. The fans had an ideal in their heads of who he was. When he broke this ideal, it was like a slap in the face. We like to have things set in our minds. When it turns out that person is not the person we thought they were, it's painful. It can create an emotional swing. You might go from loving them to hating them. You might feel betrayed or tricked, like they fooled you into thinking they were someone else. Connor had so many die-hard fans, people who would fly across the world, pay for expensive hotels and tickets to watch him fight. The bigger the fans they were, the more let down they felt from his behavior. This all begs the question, is redemption possible? Connor is and always will be a superstar, but can he win back the hearts of the fans who turned their backs on him after one too many incidents in the last few years? Well, we're already seeing signs that his redemption has begun. The first thing that he did to start winning back the support of the fans was that in the lead up to the Cowboy Cerrone fight in January 2020, he was very respectful to a veteran of the sport. This was a complete contrast to the buildup of the fight with Khabib, where many thought he crossed the line with certain things that he said. Against Cowboy, he seemed happy relaxed, having fun, more the Connor from a few years back that millions fell in love with. I'm in a position right now where I'm very, very excited to be here and I'm, I'm very eager to, to, to perform for the fans on January 18th. I've got a solid opponent in front of me and uh, a veteran of the game and I'm just in a good spot and that's it. I don't think I've changed or altered or, uh, you know, uh, I'm just committed and focused and happy to be here. Very honored to share the cage with Donald and, 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 and um, very proud, you know, it's, he's a good man and he's got cool people behind him and much respect. What a phenomenal legacy Donald has and it's an honor to share the octagon with that man, seriously, I mean that. I've shared the octagon with some great UFC fighters um, and Donald is up there with the best of them all, so I'm very, very proud to share the octagon with him. And the thing about Connor is that with him, less is more. The man is incredibly charismatic and a very engaging speaker. He really doesn't need to do anything more than be himself to get people on side. This genuine show of respect for Donald and the humility he showed post-fight was exactly what was needed to help bring back people on side. It was refreshing to see and people really bought into it. The second thing that Connor did on his path to redemption was to emphatically remind everyone that he is one of the best mixed martial artists on the planet. He TKO'd Cerrone in just 40 seconds and he looked back to his best. He had said that he was in great shape physically and mentally, but this performance was evidence that it was true. Forget all the media coverage and controversy, after two years out, Connor was back and he was doing what he did best. The third thing that Connor has done to start to win back the fans has been to stay out of the news. And when he has been in the news, it's been for positive reasons, such as supporting charities. For a period, it seemed like scandal after scandal was coming out. But the sense is that now Connor has put this behind him. He is staying out of trouble and focused on his craft. And that is what all true fight fans want. They want to see him do what he does best. And a focused Connor is one of the most dangerous fighters in the sport. I believe that Connor's redemption has already begun. But for it to be complete, he needs to keep on this path and stay out of trouble. He needs to remind everyone of his elite skills by staying active, 
People want to see the happy, fun-loving Connor who's cocky without being arrogant, in your face but still humble. The Connor who is just himself without feeling the need to do something dramatic. Hyping a fight is great, but for someone with the personal magnetism of Conor McGregor, less is definitely more. It takes years to build a reputation, but only seconds to destroy one. People make mistakes. They do things they regret. That is part of life. But it's never too late to start trying to make it right. And it's always worth trying. If you have the power to make your life and the lives of the people around you even 1% better, do it. And do it every time you can. Remember to check out the previous videos in this Conor McGregor series on the keys to his rise to stardom and a reaction to his public speaking skills. If you could subscribe to the channel, I would really appreciate it. Thanks for joining me. I'm Matt. I'll see you in the next video.